Hello Cloud Gurus, I'm Alex Mackey from Redify and I'll be standing in for Lars Clint for the next couple of weeks while Lars is off competing in the International Llama, Dressage and Show Jumping Competition in Denmark. Well I made that up, but don't worry as Lars will be back in a few weeks, so on with the show. Azure files are commonly used to supplement or replace existing file storage within an organization, or maybe as part of a lift and shift migration of an application to the cloud to minimize changes to code. Azure Files uses the industry standard SMB protocol, making it compatible with Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and of course, other Azure services. So what's new? Well, this week sees the general availability of Azure Premium Files. Ooh, premium. And as you might expect, more costly edition offers a higher level of performance, all made possible by the speedy magic of solid state drives. Whilst the standard version is gonna be fine for scenarios such as general file storage and logging, premium would be a good choice for stuff that requires high throughput and low latency, such as databases and containers. Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, or let's call it DL2, as we're friends, is used to provide storage to both structured and unstructured data. So as of this week, DL2 generates events which are consumable by Azure Event Grid. We can now use this to be aware of changes to individual files to kick off things like perhaps an Azure Databrick job, or perhaps let other subscribers such as Azure Functions and Logic Apps know. This functionality makes it much easier to integrate Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 into your serverless architectures. Currently, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 is available in preview in West Central US and West US 2 regions. Azure Blueprints are aimed at creating repeatable, governed cloud environments, and they can help with large-scale deployment of Azure resources. And did I mention that Blueprints are also free? This week, Azure Blueprints gets a shiny new Blueprint, the PCI DSS version 3.2.1 Blueprint. As many of you will know, PCI DSS is a standard designed to prevent fraud through increased controls of credit card data. Anyone accepting payments from the major credit cards or processing transactions and cardholder data should be adhering to PCI DSS standards. If you are handling card details yourself, rather than handing this off to a third party, this could certainly be worth a look. Well, that's all I have for this week, so keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.